Making a Gradient. Step 1. Gather the necessary items including Stadler marker, sample layering device, 10 milliliter syringe with cannula, 60 milliliter syringe with cannula, test tube brack, heavy solution, light solution, six test tubes, six tube caps, marker block, lubrication bolt, and silicone lubricant. Step two, lubricate the tubes. Apply a slight coating of silicone lubricant with your fingers to the seal screwed onto the end of the lubrication bolt. There should be no visible buildup of silicone anywhere. Too much silicone can clog the fractionator. Put the cap from the fractionating tube mount on the tube so the seal can slide in easily. Push the seal in and out of the tube a few times to lubricate the inner wall of the tube. Repeat for each tube. Step 3. Marking the tubes. Mark the halfway point of the tubes using the appropriate marker block. The lower step should be used for a gradient using long caps. The upper edge should be used for a gradient using short caps. Step 4. Layering the heavy and light solutions. The dye in the heavy solution is for demonstration purposes only. Your solutions should be vacuum filtered. Step 5. Layering the light solution. Suck and expel a small amount of solution three or four times to ensure no air remains in the cannula. Suck the light solution into a 60 milliliter syringe with the provided cannula attached. Layer the solution in the tube so it is slightly above the line. Repeat for each tube. Step 6. Layering the heavy solution. Fill a 10 milliliter syringe using the same sucking and expelling technique as before to exclude air from the cannula. Clean the outside of the cannula with paper towel. Push a small droplet of liquid out of the end of the syringe. Touch the end of the cannula to the paper towel to remove the excess solution while ensuring there is no air in the end of the cannula. Hold a tube between your thumb and middle ring fingers. Your index finger will be used to glide the cannula. Quickly push the cannula down to the bottom of the tube, keeping it along the wall of the tube all the way down. Layer a small puddle of heavy solution in the bottom of the tube. Now you can pause as no convective mixing will occur. Layer in the heavy solution, moving the end of the cannula upward to keep it one centimeter below the interface between the two solutions. Once the interface surrounds the line made earlier, move the cannula to the wall of the tube and pull out quickly. The interface between the two solutions should be sharp and there should be no visible air bubbles in the tube. Adjust the top level of the light solution. Use the sample layering device to adjust the height of the solution in each tube. It should be 2 to 3 millimeters below the top of the tube. Step 7. Cap the tubes. Note the protrusion that shows where the hole in the cap is. Pivot the cap into the tube so that the side of the cap with the hole is the last to seal. Some liquid should be visible inside the cap. If you cannot see liquid, then a bubble may form in your gradient and destroy it. Step 8. Form the gradient with the Gradient Master. Use the up and down keys again to level the plate perfectly front to back. This step should be repeated each time the instrument is used. Hit the Done key. The Gradient Master is now ready for use. Put the tubes in the tube holder on the Gradient Master.
choose your gradient and hit run. For more information, visit biocompinstruments.com.